Today is a very special day here at Epcot. Here to kick off Epcot's 35th anniversary celebration, please welcome Mariachi Cobra. <laughs>
to evolve as a place where the worlds of dreams, futures, and fantasies come together in memorable and imaginative ways. Today, Epcot is a wonderful international family made up of cast members and guests from all over the world. This mosaic of cultures has inspired Epcot's international festivals, much like the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival, which we're enjoying today. Epcot, most of all, is a place for fun. It is a place where the real is made fantastic. Please welcome the Vice President of Epcot from 1995 through the Millennium Celebration, and today, the President of the Walt Disney World Resort, George A. Calagridis. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Melissa, and welcome. As a Walt Disney World opening day cast member, I was curious to learn a few years of my career that we would be building a second park. I wondered why would we be doing such a thing when the Magic Kingdom already had six lands covering everything from the realm of fantasy to the wonders of tomorrow. I asked, what else could there possibly be? Then, as the plans for Epcot Center rolled out, I became really excited. As a child, I'd been glued to the TV watching Walt Disney with his message of a fascinating future and a belief in the goodness of people worldwide. Now, we stand in a park that embodies those ideals. This is a place for family, a place for fun, and a place for faith in our vision as a people. It is little wonder that so many people have fallen in love with this park and its story. As we celebrate the 35th anniversary of Epcot, I would like to share what Card Walker, chairman of Walt Disney Productions said at the formal dedication of Epcot on October 24th, 1982. To all who come to this place of joy, hope, and friendship, welcome. Epcot is inspired by Walt Disney's creative vision. Here, human achievements are celebrated through imagination, wonders of enterprise, and concepts of a future that promises new and exciting benefits for all. May Epcot Center entertain, inform, and inspire. And above all, may it instill a new sense of belief and pride in man's ability to shape a world that offers hope to people everywhere. years and let me tell you we have some wonderful additions on the horizon. I was thrilled that we were able to announce what amounts to nothing less than an Epcot renaissance last July at the D23 Expo in Anaheim. As our chairman Bob Chapik said, this work here will be centered around a few guiding principles. We want to keep true to the original vision of Epcot while making it more Disney, more timeless, more relevant, and more family. We're also ensuring these plans incorporate what we've been hearing from our guests, especially from families with young children. This renaissance has already begun with new and refreshed experiences at Mission Space. We have a new restaurant on the way there with a view that is literally out of this world. Guardians of the Galaxy is coming to Future World, while Ratatouille will be in residence in World Showcase. Those are just some of the new headlines. Epcot has always been and will always be an optimistic celebration of the real world brought to life through the magic of Disney. I promise you, the exciting plans we have on the horizon will honor Epcot's rich legacy of creativity, innovation, while continuing to exceed the expectations of our guests for decades to come. And now, to end our program, it is my privilege to introduce another musical group that has been with Epcot since the very beginning. They have not only entertained guests with their talents for 35 years, they have created iconic moments from their signature acapella entertainment at the American Adventure to their 
her seasonal performances during the 4th of July and Disney's Candlelight Processional. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here to perform a brand new musical tribute, please welcome the Voices of Liberty. <laughs> Thank you. 